I am so freaking excited to share today's video with you because it's something I've been working on for quite a while, something I've been very excited about, and I was gonna do this big, dramatic, epic intro. But I'm too excited, so I'm just gonna flat out tell you, I bought a dolphin, a dolphin helicopter. And I didn't just buy one dolphin helicopter, I bought two dolphin helicopters. I actually bought two and a half because there's like a third spare part ship. Guys, this is the most incredible deal and the coolest story of how we ended up right here in Ohio picking up two dolphin helicopters. So buckle up, this is gonna be a fun episode. We're gonna talk about helicopters, we're gonna talk about good deals, we're gonna talk about bad deals, we're gonna talk about what we're gonna do with these helicopters. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So uh, let's get into it. Listen, you know when people are like, this is too good to be true? That's what Arizona was like. It was too good to be true. And I kind of got that vibe the second we showed up and started dealing with the people there. It was just, it was weird. It was a bad vibe. It turns out it was too good to be true. I want the dolphin helicopter. And then the video you guys didn't see was when we were over in England, we went and visited another dolphin, which you guys didn't even see that video. Same thing, same thing. It's too good to be true. We literally drove like six hours one direction one night because he's like, there's a lead on a dolphin, we gotta go now. So we like moved our entire trip around to drive like six hours or whatever one way. That just shows this guy's dedication. But we get there and we look at that one, same thing. It's too good to be true. It's probably not true and that's what it was. When we were leaving Arizona and we like canceled the check and we, can't, we tried to cancel the check and try to get our money back, in the rental car, before we left that guy's, before we left like the facility, I said to Dave, I said, you're gonna end up with a dolphin no matter what. You didn't get this dolphin yet, but you will have a dolphin soon now. Maybe. Because you are so set on it. <laughs> like it's just going to happen. Sure enough, here we are, headed to go get his dolphins that are, like have been paid for. They're like legit, they're really there just shows like this guy's dedication is unbelievable six months ago we were like about to wire money to an offshore account in some foreign country to get some dolphins and now we are just flying to Ohio so pretty exciting this is like one of the most robust most popular most uh, dependable and successful helicopters ever built. Oh, oh she's beautiful. Day has come. Damn. This is one beautiful helicopter. <laughs> Did it, guys. I got myself a dolphin. Pictures don't do them justice. Yeah. They really do feel just beefier in person. Like, they that's are. a lot of helicopters. Wait till we fly in it. It's, yeah? It's a machine. Thank you, AG1, for continuing to sponsor the videos. Guys, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. 2022 was a great year for me, my business, my friends, and my family. However, it wasn't a great year for my optimal health. And what I mean by that is when I used to work out like five days a week, that slipped down to like maybe one or two days a week. And sometimes no times a week with all the travel schedules and you know, a million different excuses that we all have. So 2023, I made the goal to get back in the gym and get like as healthy as I possibly could. So I'm gonna show you something that I found that helps. AG1, this is a daily comprehensive nutritional drink. And the reason why I'm talking about it right now is because it actually helps me get back here in the gym. And the way it does that is by providing my body with the vitamins and minerals and the nutrition that I need to be able to have the right amounts of energy, the right amounts of focus and strength and basically all the overall you know, health needs that my body has, well, I can get a lot of them right here in this one drink. So I'm gonna hit you guys with a little challenge. You see, AG1 has a 90 day money back guarantee, which means you can try it, see if it works for you. And if it doesn't, we'll just go back to them, get your money back and move on with your life. But I'm pretty confident that if it works even remotely as well for you as it does for me, that you're probably gonna stick with it. And it's super easy. Ready for this? Literally, take your bottle. I like anywhere between eight to 12 ounces of water. You take one scoop, put it in there, okay? 
and then just give it a good shake. Not to be crazy. You can mix it with smoothies, you can mix it with juice, you can mix it with all sorts of different things. In the morning, I put it in a smoothie with yogurt, fruit, all sorts of different stuff that really I look forward to every single day. Shake it up, take it, and drink it. So when you do that, what's happening is all the 75 different ingredients of vitamins, minerals, probiotics, prebiotics, superfoods, adaptogens, all those different things are going through your body and finding the areas where they're most needed and it's helping you out. Guys, this is nutrition, it's energy, it's focus, and for me, it's life. So I think it's your turn to give it a try. Remember, 90 day money back guarantee, so it's kind of a no brainer. And anybody who places an order right now by clicking the link in my description below, AG1 is gonna hook you up. They're gonna give you five free travel packs with your first order plus a one year supply of vitamin D, absolutely free. So give it a try and thank you, AG1, for continuing to sponsor the videos. You spent a lot of time in this one. Yep, this was, uh, flew the line for us for quite a while and uh, this has hauled a lot of people that needed help, yeah. you know, a lot of injured people. So absolutely. You guys are gonna, uh, it'll be, you're, you're giving her a good home. Yeah, so. I think so. I think, uh, cause it'll, it'll, it's gonna have more of like a retirement life go do the fun stuff. Yep. Doesn't have to constantly be on call. It's incredible how good a condition these things yeah. are. I've, I've, so I think I told you before, almost all my helicopters were old EMS ships yep. and none of them have ever been this clean. So you guys do a good job with these things. And the pictures of the blue one that I've seen, yeah. it looks incredible. You're gonna love it. Yeah? Yeah. Dude, this is awesome. I gotta get to know her. <laughs> 293 SV. Where's the, uh, do they have baggage compartments? On the other side? Yeah, on the other side. helicopter I love it what do you think about this one? Oh, there's a helicopter here didn't even see it <laughs> just kidding just kidding it's awesome I'm excited I'm kind of taken back by this one for a minute so I'll come back to your interview when I get done lusting <laughs> so as you guys remember where the deal in Arizona fell apart I was I was pretty frustrated because you know I really wanted those helicopters I wanted to get that deal but I knew at the same time that uh, it would happen soon enough and what happened next is pretty wild it's a pretty crazy story it involves us ending up over in the UK looking at dolphin helicopters unintentionally and then it also involves at the same time we were looking at helicopters over there I got an email from a guy that I had never met before but he kind of followed the program and, and what we do his name's Aaron Aaron is a pilot for Life Flight out of Ohio and he said, hey, saw your video, saw how much you love the dolphins. I got a deal for you, let's talk. Basically what happened was, Life Flight is getting ready to uh, get rid of some of their older helicopters because they have to have new ones all the time. And so he said, I've got two dolphins, basically two and a half dolphins, and a bunch of spare parts and a bunch of spare equipment. And I've talked to the uh, management here and we're gonna put together a package deal if you wanna buy it from us and it'll be a good deal. He sent me the number back and I was like, damn, that is a good deal. But I don't need two dolphins. I mean, I guess I do technically could use two dolphins, but I don't really need two dolphins. So that's why I called the Law Father right here. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Law Father is not a helicopter pilot yet. Yet. So you guys know Cole, the Law Father. He started out as my attorney. Now he's my partner and soon to be domestic partner, life partner, just overall pro. Quiet life coach. Yeah. Yeah. All, all, the, all the above. Mm -hmm. So. Cole has been telling me over the last few months, he's like, hey, you know, I, I might need a helicopter soon because he's building a surf park down in Arizona, which you guys have seen. With that surf park, Cole is bouncing all over the place and there's potential to do some other big developments 
down in Arizona. That's right. And so Cole's tired of driving. And so he wants a helicopter to be able to get from here to there because his time is very valuable. Busiest guy I've ever met. Just so that we're all aware, most helicopter pilots or pilots in general start in like a Robinson or maybe a Bell 206 like I did. And then you've got guys like Cole who just start in the Dolphin. And guys like Cole have friends like Sparks that say this is the easiest and the safest helicopter to fly. Yeah, I'm sure that's totally inaccurate. but no, uh, definitely convinced yeah. him. So anyways, I'm buying this one. We're getting picked up right here in Detroit and flying over to Ohio to pick up Coles. And the reason this whole magic is happening is because of this man right here. Aaron, say hello. <laughs> Aaron, how did you, why did you reach out? So obviously I love uh, what you guys do on YouTube. And uh, one day I, I was watching that video where your deal fell through and a, and a light bulb went off and I was basically like, man, this would be perfect for you. I have an N2, we have an N model. Yeah. And uh, called you up and that, that's kind of how it happened. Freaking, so. the, the timing, I'm telling you, man, the timing is insane. Yeah. Because of how all this came together and what we were looking for and how we were just getting ready to buy another one in the UK. And this is just so much, such a better deal. And I feel so much more comfortable with this helicopter, yeah. especially this helicopter over the shady ones that I was gonna buy down in Arizona. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna buy it, most likely. I think that was gonna be a huge, yeah. you know, headache for me. Um, so anyways, Aaron just flew here to Detroit. Um, he's just helping us out being a bro. Um, he's a badass pilot. He spent time uh, kind of flying with the Coast Guard, with the Marines, with a little bit of everybody. A little bit of everybody. Yeah, and now he's, uh, he's kind of the main pilot over this Life Flight program where he helps train other Life Flight pilots and check them out and make sure that... Uh, are you the chief pilot? I'm the assistant chief pilot. Assistant yeah. chief pilot for Mercy Flight? Mercy, uh, Mercy Health Life Flight Network. Okay, cool. They're the ones who show up when there's an accident or you need to get to the hospital really quick which is why this helicopter is still equipped as an air ambulance, which you're gonna see here in a minute. Uh, almost all of the helicopters I bought other than the Black Hawk were old air ambulance helicopters. I like them because they're very well maintained. Um, they usually have really nice equipment and they just have nice histories. So basically every time I buy an EMS helicopter, we'll go tear out all the EMS equipment and then put nice seats or configure it however we want. We do the same thing with this one, but not today. Today we're gonna fly it as an air ambulance and uh, you're gonna to get to see kind of how that works and what that looks like. So basically Aaron was nice enough to come pick us up in Detroit. We're gonna fly over to, well, which part of Ohio? Uh, Bluffton. Bluffton, Ohio, where Cole's helicopter is currently parked. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to take both helicopters um, and shuttle them down to Lexington, Kentucky to see our friend Joe at Thoroughbred Aviation because he's gonna be the one that makes these things look sexy. He's gonna pull out all the air the ambulance equipment. Can I ride stretcher? You can ride stretcher, like, yeah. I don't want stretcher, a shotgun, I want, I want stretcher. Does the stretcher spin? I think it does. Like a buck and bull type it thing? It does, I think so. <laughs> this, is, this is awesome. This is the one that is, it's got a lot of the cool old mechanical components that, that, that I enjoy, like my BO-105 had, mechanical throttles, that kind of stuff. So it's a man's helicopter. It's not just a push button and go, right? Yep. Perfect. Gotta fly it. Gotta fly it. It does have autopilot. It does have a lot of features that uh, my helicopters haven't had before. Um, it's bigger as far as like you know the the airframe goes and the performance goes so it's similar to the black hawk but it's also a complete reverse configuration from the black hawk where it's got one single wheel up front and then the other wheels in the back has got like tricycle gear whereas the black hawk has kind of a tail wheel configuration so this has definitely been a big year for me going from skid helicopters to learning how to run helicopters with wheels all right well we're gonna get out of here ready let's go let's go fly this is um, 
see this sealant here? The reason they have that is so blood of the victims, which there has been a lot of blood in here because you're out here dealing with farm, farm accidents, car accidents, everything. Uh, we had one of the guys, pilots, tell us that he served three tours, Afghanistan and Iraq, and he saw more carnage in these than he did even in wartime. And so I say that not to make light of the situation, but these are real heroes out in this community, and, and this is just one small indicator of this little sealant here of kind of the combat that these vehicles have been in, so pretty crazy. So my name is Aaron Antrim. I get to fly around in these uh, awesome machines, pick up people when they're on their worst day and uh, take them to the hospital and, you know, get them care, get them taken care of. So that's what I do. It's really cool in this job because I flew these in the Coast Guard and I also get to continue flying them, you know, today. So uh, that's a really cool experience for me. I hope they go to a good home, which I know they will. I've met everybody here and everybody here is really good people. I know he's going to take them, make them his own, and they're going to go into the future and be great aircraft. My name is Erin Krieger and I've been flying with Life Flight since 2011. As a flight nurse, I work hand in hand with a paramedic who is my team member. We wait at our base until we get a call, either um, it's an accident scene or a hospital transfer. I remember flying down, down south and uh, we knew it was going to be bad because when the firefighters got on the radio, their voices were all shaky, trying to tell us about the landing zone, and we're like, oh, this is not going to be cool. And sure enough, it was a little kid that his dad ran over him with a lawnmower. And he uh, he was still awake when we got to him, but he had completely eviscerated everything. It was, it was bad. We were able to intubate him. We got him in the helicopter, talked about him. We're like, okay, where is the best place to get this kid where he's going to survive? So we decided it was down at Children's. So we, um, pilot's like, I can get you there. We, we can do this. And so we got him all stabilized and got him down there. And probably like a week later, I found out he was discharged and completely fine. And that was so cool just to know that like, there's no way he would have been able to survive if they had to take him down there by an ambulance and, and do all those things just to be able to be part of that. It's really cool. My hope for these helicopters when they leave here is that they continue on the mission of being able to help people and bring joy to people's lives. So for your viewers, I want your viewers to guess who's older, the law father or this machine? I'm gonna say that you guys are, he's probably a year younger than you, the helicopter. He's actually three years older than me. Really? Which is crazy. So you look well, at this machine. I thought it was machine, a 1983. It's a 1979. Oh. So you look at this machine, you would not think 1979 no. at all. But the key to these, uh, and I've just done all the paperwork, I've been baptized by fire from all the aircraft that Mr. Sparks has bought, um, is the records. The records are so critically important. So hold on, I'm gonna grab a record book here. Doesn't look like much. But this is a flight log and this bird has volumes of these and you could buy like the equivalent of a 2020 Ferrari version of a helicopter without the flight logs, without the paperwork. That'd be worth it. might as well be recycled metal. Scrap. That's all it is. And so this aircraft here comes with pristine records as you'd expect from a life flight operator. Yep. And so that's really where the value comes from is that these guys have operated every single notch of this thing with perfection. Yeah. And the cool thing about these helicopters is they haven't been passed around a lot. They've had the blue one for like 11 or 12 years. And so it's been in their program forever. They've had the white one since it was new. So that means that the mechanics know them very well. The pilots know them very well. We're sitting over there talking to the president of the company and he's like, getting emotional talking about these things he's like he's like these are pillars of the community these are heroes and you think about it, it's like yeah you're right these have flown tens of thousands of people in critical situations to safety so it's pretty cool that's why i love uh you know ems helicopters obviously i, I don't need an ems helicopter which is why we're gonna pull all that stuff out but it's their time for you know a second chance at life having a little bit more fun a little bit a little bit play <laughs> <this business. laughs> Pretty awesome, right? Some would say breathtaking. 
You'll know what else is breathtaking? This! Yeah, you remember that truck when we built it in the shop? Well, guess what? It's because we partnered up with Avalanche Alliance to give it away. You see, Avalanche Alliance is bringing awareness to all this crazy weather we've been having. Nationwide, we've had more snow than I think we've ever had in my entire life. And there's gonna be lots of avalanches. There's already been tons of avalanches and people need to be ready for them. Avalanche Alliance is creating awareness for all sorts of people that are out there having a good time. So why don't we support them by trying to win this truck? You go to avalanchealliance.org and you can make a donation to help spread the word. If you do that, you can win the truck. You know what else you could win? This beacon right here. All you gotta do is text this number which is texting me, and let me know proof of your donation, and I'm gonna pick somebody to win this beacon. Could be you, could be you, could be you, could be you, but you'll never know until you make that donation. All right, guys, our time here at the Bluffton Airport, where we're picking up these two helicopters is done. What a cool experience. I mean, I bought a lot of helicopters, um, and a lot of helicopters you buy, you don't really know the story, that you just buy the helicopter and then you make it your own. This one, I'm meeting the people that like save lives in these things, so this is more of a personal experience for sure, and it's really cool. Um, taking off from here, heading down to Lexington. This is, um, this is definitely a bucket list item for me, checking it off, and it's cool because I never really knew about the Delphines until I came across the warehouse deal, and then when that deal went south. And if there's a fucking problem, let me know, and we could both part ways, because. It became one of those situations where I just became fascinated with it so what do you think hands you like them i i really do love them Very sweet, huh? i just don't know if i love the the, the shape of them and i think once you paint it i'm gonna fall in love with them even more yeah the, but the, right the paint job on them on this one especially just accentuates all the curves weird yeah Coles looks better because it's all blue yeah. it just looks like i got it, it got a goose egg mine <laughs> mine what looks those, what's those fish with the big horns the the whales with the big horns with the big narwhals <laughs> Recognize this face right here. This there is Mr. Go. Except he gets younger every time we see him. That's good. Yeah. I like that. What are you doing? I don't know. I need your skin. Got a haircut. Your skincare routine. Did you? <laughs> yeah. you? Got trimmed up. Got a haircut. You ready for a couple of dolphins? Yes. We're all ready for yeah, them. Great. These things are sweet, dude. It's a great flight. It's a great flight. <laughs> you fly it off? Control. Yeah. It flew. <laughs> that's, all, that's, that's why I kept on saying, "Are you drunk over there?" <laughs> what, Easy. What are you guys doing? Easy. He was doing it really. You guys good. were sightseeing. <laughs> From 500 yeah. to 1500. <laughs> I don't get nauseous. I was nauseous. <laughs> <laughs> well, you lay down on the stretcher. You're supposed uh, to be nauseous on the stretcher. There That's go. the deal. That makes part of it. Well, you've got your work cut out for you. We buy helicopters for fun, but we also do it as a business opportunity, okay? Um, and so, right as we bought these helicopters, we got word that there's another uh, air ambulance operator who might want to lease one from us for six to 12 months short term because they are in a tight spot and need one then we could make some decent money on leasing it. So we might lease Kohl's out while we fix this one. Bunch of different options. Uh, we still gotta talk it through, but this is where I bring everything because I trust Joe and you saw how good he, uh, you know, the job he did in the Blackhawks. So, um, and I'll walk you guys through kind of what the business side of this looks like uh, and how we're able to afford to fly these things for fun, but also make money on them. Cause I mean, that's the ultimate goal. You don't want to just burn money. Even if you have money, you don't want to just be done with it. So that was fun. I really enjoyed that. This helicopter is so sweet. The autopilot and the stability system on it 
it is a Cadillac up there and it's fast. Next step is Joe's gonna pull him in and then we'll let him know final instructions of what we want to do. And that's that. Is this a better deal than the Arizona showdown? Yes, way better. <laughs> way easier, not as much craziness either. You mean I didn't send $250,000 overseas and never got a penny for it? And nobody threatened me with a pistol, so <laughs> that's all good. That's part of the deal. I told you guys we got two fully functional helicopters, which just flew down. They also got a third helicopter, which is just basically for parts. And for parts, I mean, once we take all the nice parts out of it, we're gonna turn it into, I don't know, what, I should turn this into like a drag car or something. That'd be cool. Take it to one of Cletus events. Have this thing just burn rubber down the strip. That'd be freaking awesome. Look at it though. This is number two and a half or number three. But it's, uh, it is very complete. This was a good deal. We got like, well, look at the probably seat. a million dollars worth of parts. Out of the deal. Yeah, sheepskin. Yeah. Nice. Well, I'll just put that in there right now. I don't think it's the